Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to edit a page in Cloud Craze. We're going to use the cart page as an example. So I'm going to click this request for a quote button and I want to edit this modal. So I'll show you the steps on how to do that. So I'm going to go through five steps today. The first step is create a visual force page and I'm going to name it CC cart. BIE and BIE is short for body include end. So I'm going to go into IntelliJ, click on new visual force page, CC cart BIE, and hit OK. I'm going to hit yes. And now, as you know, uh, Cloud Craze needs attributes, so I'm just going to copy and paste them right here. Just so we use Cloud Craze styling instead of Salesforce default. All right, so we did that. And the next setting is we have to add it to the config. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to go to CC Admin, Store for. Configuration settings. And we're going to hit New. And, as I named it BIE, it stands for Body Includes End. And there's two settings we need to do with this module. So one of them is Enabled. We pick the page, which is Cart. Attribute Value True. Hit Create. And then we hit New again. Body Includes End page include name, page cart, then a tribute value is C underscore underscore CC cart BIE. Uh, it's always C underscore 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 when referring to a page. All right, this looks good. And then we go back to global settings, configure cache management, and we build a new one. Okay, now the build is done. We're going to activate the new build and deactivate the old one. I'm going to refresh the page. There should be no noticeable changes. Alright, step number two is done. Step number three is search for script type text template. So you have to do view page source. You can't do inspect. And what I like to do is Cloud Craze is made up of different templates. And we need to grab that script tag. Template. Okay. It's text template. And what we do is we try to find the template that we're looking for. So it would be RFQ modal. So we just look at the ID and guess what it is. All right, RFQ modal template. And based on looking at first name, last name, email, you know, it looks like the RFQ template that we're trying to grab. So you grab script from script, and you come back to IntelliJ, and you copy that all in there. And what I like to do is I like to do something drastic so I know I've changed what I needed to. So I'm gonna put Amanda somewhere Amanda. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to do Control Shift R. And there we go. We see we have overrided the template and the name Amanda shows up.
Alright, so I'm going to show you some fun with JavaScript and log that this. Uh, so what you can do, you want to see what objects are returned into the DOM, you can do log this. Hit refresh. Alright, I saw it. Wow, that's a lot of, uh, okay, here it is. So this is the object that's returned to the page. Um, you have allow checkout, card items, which is an object that has all the cart items in it, anonymous ID, buyer contact ID, account ID, total amount, total quantity. You know just a lot of information that you could use so let's say we want to grab the encrypted ID so what you do is you copy that and let's go back to Amanda let's do this dot encrypted ID and we're gonna save the page again and we're gonna go back refresh the page It might, it might still show without logs, CC log enabled. Let's see if it does. All right, that's easier. So do request, and you see that next to Amanda is the encrypted cart ID. So that's how you use that. Uh, whatever you wanna grab, just do this dot whatever it is, and then you can grab whatever information that you need. And I'll do a simple if statement with, we'll do something over here. We'll do um, if this dot anonymous ID this dot encrypted ID. Let me make sure I spelled anonymous ID right. I'm just gonna. So it shouldn't show based on because it's false. All right, gonna save that. We're gonna go back to the page and refresh. we shouldn't see it yeah we just see Amanda but we don't see this dot encrypted ID because it didn't match the if statement so that's how you can do that's a an example of how you can use handlebars in these templates and the last piece I have to show you is you can go into JavaScript and also grab these items so just below the script tag there's going to be another script tag. So they both need to be separate. I'm going to refresh the page once again. And we have the console.logs open 101 and available. Alright, that's all I have to show you.